Well, Carbon Motors has actually developed the world's first purpose-built law enforcement patrol vehicle. So unlike what's done today where you take a retail passenger vehicle and you upfit it with a wealth of aftermarket equipment, we've actually incorporated everything an officer needs to do his job into the vehicle as original equipment. So when you look at the cockpit of the vehicle, it's actually built much like a fighter aircraft or a helicopter versus a car where you add stuff to it. What are some of the features? Uh, the vehicle actually has automatic license plate recognition, so it'll passively scan license plates as the officer is patrolling the neighborhoods. It'll do up to 1,500 license plates per minute. Checks against the national and local databases for wanted or uh, 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 warranted people. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What else? Uh, we have weapons of mass destruction sensors, uh, radiation, chemical, and biological sensors that will passively, again, detect weapons of mass destruction. So if an officer is on patrol and gets one of those elements, you'll get an audible and a visual alert inside the car. We have infrared capability for nighttime vision capability. Uh, there's five cameras in this particular car. We have a full 360 degree uh, visibility of, of uh, surveillance available in the car. Uh, forward and rear facing uh, uh, radar it's for traffic monitoring. And uh, the entire car, as I said before, is built specifically for the purpose of law enforcement. How much? Haven't announced pricing yet. We'll be competitive with a patrol-ready vehicle. So the agencies aren't going to be spending any more money to put the car on the road, but they will be spending less money over the life cycle of the vehicle. We have a clean diesel powertrain that gets a 40% improvement in fuel economy over any uh, vehicle being used in law enforcement today. Uh, and, of course, that has some tailpipe benefits to it as well, so a 40% reduction in, fuel, in uh, CO2 emissions. And what exactly is Carbon Motors Corporation? Have you done these in the past? Or? Carbon Motors Corporation is, is a new homeland security company with a sole focus on building the world's first purpose-built law enforcement patrol vehicle for law enforcement. It is, it, it, it's an existing company that exists solely to serve law enforcement. Uh, Carbon Motors Corporation will actually be generating about 10,000 new direct and indirect jobs, and these are green jobs of national importance right now, uh, and we're doing so in support of Homeland Security. Oh, what's your favorite city you've visited so far? Boston. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> hey, Stacy, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. How many do you uh, plan to build? Uh, the entire market consists of about 75,000 units sold each year. Uh, we're not so arrogant to believe we're going to take the entire market, but uh, we think the market will speak for itself and, and the E7 will be a part of every fleet in the country. Now, 75,000 a year, how many patrol vehicles are actually uh, built every year? That, that sounds like a pretty big part of the market. Uh, well, 75,000 uh, patrol vehicles sold each year is the, the number of vehicles that are actually produced in the U.S. How about yourselves, though? Uh, well, we can cover the market, but again, our intent is only to provide a product and we'll let the market speak for itself. Anything, uh, any capabilities in this vehicle you can't talk about? Uh, yes. <laughs> and, and, and what are those? <laughs> we can't talk about them. <laughs> There are several technologies that are that are specific to law enforcement, uh, tools that they've asked for that they would be able to utilize during their patrolling. Now, we, we often hear radio. We often hear police radio. Um, and I'm not certain in this state or if it's nationwide that that must go out on the air. Is there such a thing as encrypted radio? Yes, there is. Would that be part of this? Absolutely. Yes, they're uh, trunked or uh, encrypted radios is actually used across the country, and we will obviously incorporate that as well. We don't want to change the way they're doing business today. Any wireless uh, internet communication capabilities? Yes, there's a full, it actually has a computer built into the car, so much like you would have your navigation or entertainment system, the computer is built into this so that they can do their computer-aided dispatching, records management, and the like directly from the cockpit of the vehicle. Does the, uh, do the rear doors have handles? Uh, rear doors have handles on the outside, not the inside. We'll open that up for you and let you have a look at it. Uh, somebody has a, or Amber, somebody has a partial description of a license plate. Uh, put that out. You can manually program it into your car. If you pass anything that has that description or has that partial license plate, it'll bring up a list. Uh, again, 